Gunplay Network presents Real Grade New Gundam RX 93 FF or the Gundam Side F Gundam Park Special Edition. This was proudly brought to you by Side 7 Exports. If you're looking for anything P Bandai or you know that kind of special like this one is, check out Gus's website. Always great service from you know my side of it that I've had. So Big cheers to him for sending this my way for review. Uh, guys, obviously, it's been a hell of a long time since my last uh, unbox and review. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but it's been a busy <clears throat> eight months or so between work, passing of a close family member. And um, yeah, it's, it just hasn't been a, a great 2023 like I was hoping. So uh, I'm back on it now, though. You'll see some more reviews and stuff coming from myself. Big thanks to everyone else at GN who's kind of picked up the slap and uh, slack. Sorry, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here's your inner frame only shot, um, and yeah, it's basically this is the same kit we saw before. I mean, the core kit I'm talking about. Some of the accessories are the same, colors different, but the actual real grade new itself. This is the same fantastic top three kits I've ever built. Uh, it's just, you can see from the inner frame, the detail, the flexibility, articulation, it's all top notch. It's just amazing. All right, so here's it all armored up again. Now, I haven't done anything to this kit. This is just some nub removal. That's legit all I've done with it. Uh, it, it can be, I mean, it breaks down to so many pieces. If you want to paint this thing, go for it. If you want to just gloss coat and do some panel lining decals, go for it. We did get the additional water slides here, which I will put on, but yeah, I ended up buying additional water slides for the titanium, which I didn't put on because I didn't want to ruin the titanium version, which you'll see coming up. So I might use them on this instead. Uh, you do get the huge sticker sheet, but for me, that's just kind of like a, I don't like them. So yeah, otherwise, fantastic color separation. You've got the white, gray, red, yellow, black, uh, almost like a yeah gunmetal just so many good colors on this here it is fully loaded up now this is not everything you'll get to the accessories you'll see that but as if you were just going to stand it with all of its kind of main attachments and you can see the long range fin funnel does hit the ground at the back to help balance him out because otherwise this thing would be hugely back heavy uh, and I mean, it did stand up with the fin funnels, but this thing is just on another level of how heavy it is. It's heavier than all the fin funnels combined. So good, good looking kit though. I love this. As soon as I saw this kit come out, I loved it and I'm glad I finally got one. Uh, I don't know if I'll get the other new, so I've got all three of them, but yeah, overall, just amazing looking kit this is. All right, on to the accessories. So here you go. This is pretty much everything there was some uh, I think some spare plastic on the runners but I've clipped all that off and put it into my parts bins so it wasn't needed for the actual kit because you do get a lot of leftover different colors here's your armor array uh, pilot figure which I will paint uh, but you know it's just it's hugely detailed for a 144 this is what I've always loved about the real grades because if you didn't want to build master grade you didn't really get pilot figures with any of the HGs. It'd be, it's a huge rarity, right? So with the real grades, you always 99.9% .9 get the, the pilot figure. There is one, I think, kit that didn't come with it, but that was a bit generic, so you didn't. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's, that's it. Like, it's a really detailed figure. You can paint this up nicely. All right, here's all of the hands. So you kind of got like open hands, holding hands, trigger finger hands, closed fists, you just got so many good choices and this is uh, much better than if you've ever built one of the earlier real grades you know that you got the movable hands like a master grade but they were just because they were so small they were so weak they just didn't hold anything properly and would always loosen over time this style of hand is much better for them. here's the shield now this is the same shield that we saw before you got a bit of white gun metal there is a red uh, missile attachment on the inside down there and it's got a uh, cannon I'm going to assume that's a laser. I don't see any shell compartments. Yeah, it's probably a laser on the end of the shield. And it's just, it's nicely detailed. Give it a panel wash, you'll get some additional lining in there. Here's the Hyper Bazooka, I think it's called, from memory. <clears throat> just a little bit of detail there. So you get the 
nice kind of white blue gun metal but then you've also got the red for the actual rockets um, or mortars whatever you want to refer to them as in the back side there is a handle which is movable uh, in the front there for the front grip and then in the top as you'll see later it attaches to the backpack there is a tab that pops out so you can do that too same thing we saw just slightly different color in the last kit is the beam rifle and this is an amazing looking beam rifle i love the level of detail it's a lot of parts put together not just two bits sandwiched together which you probably would have got on an hg so you can paint that kind of uh spring looking detail in the middle there or replace it with another bit if you want i guess you've got the lock-in tab hands now i don't think you can mount this to the back of the back skirt um, unfortunately but overall like it, it holds so well and tight in the hand maybe just a bit more coloring and panel wash to help highlight the white details so here's the long range fin funnel in its closed form because it actually does open up a little and creates like more of a more of a look um or an effect i guess so yeah um that's that now if we go next here we go this is its open form so a couple of the tabs slide open, at, you open up at the side, those two little red, white, gray wings at the side, pull those open, flip up the little blue tab on top, and then you actually pull back on the yellow fin, which was very tricky because I didn't want to break this. And when you're assembling it, there's kind of like two bits which rotate and sandwich in together, the top and bottom. When you pull back on the yellow tab, that actually springs those, not springs, but like pulls them open for you. You gotta be careful with it, but it's a really good kind of gimmick design. Like I always thought, if you have kind of like a rail gun or something, it would open up like that. And that's exactly what I thought it would do. So yeah, great on Bandai for that design. Uh, lastly on the accessories. So that's the cannon mount. That's a, uh, if you want to mount the long range fin funnel to the arm mount, two beam saber, short and long handles and the beam saber hilt. Here it is in a flying pose with everything kind of open. Uh, it shakes a little bit. So the best thing that Bandai's ever done, which I wish they would include on more kits, is you can see how it's actually attached to the backpack. That was one of the best things they've ever done with this kit because stability when you've got to hold the kit from underneath might look slightly better because um, you see less of the stand, but it's not stable. It never clamps on properly under the crotch. So this actually, what you do is remove the backpack, you clip in the mount to the backpack, then you put the backpack back onto the kit and the whole thing just hangs there awesomely. Like I could shake this thing all day, it's never coming off. All right, here it is with the original RG New Gundam and this is the titanium coating version. So as you can see, it's got the original fin funnels but it's got the same rifle, the same shield, it's got the same bazooka, the same beam saber. It's pretty much the same kit except it's not glossy and gold, it's more of a flat white or gloss white and yellow. So. Front on, side on. Now, the the funnels on this thing are awesome, but I'm torn between the fin funnel, which looks like a huge rail gun hanging off the back. And we'll show you later that does actually move a bit. There is just an epic level of detail on this kit overall that I, I, it's hard to describe. You have to build it to see it for yourself. All right, here's the back view now, so you can, you can put the beam saber, sorry, in one place there, and there is a beam saber on the left arm as well. But the, I forgot to mention, but the actual bazooka clips in on the back there. Now, I don't think there was a tab for that on the, the rifle, sadly, but as you can see, this is blue, white, red, yellow. That's kind of like a, a dark blue, black, white, red, yellow. And I do like the darker color scheme of the new. It's always been one of my favorite things. Now this does look slightly taller and I was trying to work out what the hell happened late, uh, you know, later on, but it was actually the, um, the waist. If you expand the waist out a bit, it looks slightly taller. All right, here it is with the high grade Sananju Stein um, that I built last year and which was an amazing HG. I loved it and I even did like the reverse wash on those um, Xeon bits that you can see. Uh, so it's kind of like actually a similar height to the Sananju Stein which I guess would make sense because the Sananju was based on the new Gundam and Sazabi information. So here it is with the original granddaddy, you know, RX-78 real grade and <clears throat> check out that height comparison. Um, the new just dwarfs this thing. It seems like it's nearly twice the height. I don't know. I, I can't pull up any specs right now, but 
I, I got a feeling there's a bit of a mis mismatch in the sizings there. Like maybe the new's too big or the original wasn't scaled correctly. But yeah, you can just see how much different that is. All right, and here it is with the Master Grade Jagan, which obviously the Jagan is a normal GM kind of suit um, from the same time as the new Gundam was, but obviously different scales, 1144 versus 1100. And yeah, the new is just huge. Like it is nearly on par with the Jagan, like only about a head or head and a half kind of shorter. So epically tall. Here it is on the ground, all posed up with a bazooka instead of the beam rifle this time and the fin funnels open and over the shoulder. Now you can move that around, you can swivel it. Uh, you can actually, I didn't take it off, but you can hold it like a huge Gatling gun sort of thing as well. You can clip it to the arm, but then you lose the shield. So there's just so much posability. I could have been here for hours, guys. I just, I can't even tell you how much. Like I have fun I was having playing with this as my first kit back to reviews. <clears throat> Sorry about the cough, I've had a bit of a cold lately. It's coming out of winter here in Australia. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it guys. This is just definitely an amazing kit. And as I always said, with the real grade new Gundam, it's one to have in your collection, uh, whether you're a 1144 builder or a 1100 builder, just the level of detail and complexity, but overall simplicity of the kit. Yeah, I just, I am saying this kit is a definite buy. If you're a new Gundam fanatic or you just want all of Armoro's suits, then put this one, put the original, the high new on your list which is also built off of you know the original same as this one was and just got different accessories bit of a different look so I'll, i might even try and get that one in the near future but thank you for joining me for this review uh hopefully i'll be more consistent i do have another special kit coming up soon and that's it bye for now guys keep building <laughs>